hi everyone this is your girl back again with another cooking video so today the cooking i have is uh, potato wedges i want you to show you how to make the best and easiest potato wedges guys this is homemade so i'm beginning with cutting off the buds of the potatoes i don't know if they're called buds or something but i want to make sure that my potatoes are peeled okay they are not like completely peeled but i make sure that i cut off the bad stuff from the potatoes so that my, my potato remains nice and clean and i'm going ahead to cut the sizes of the potatoes i want and i was happy with my sizes of the potato so and i went ahead to transfer the potatoes in a saucepan you can transfer anywhere you like let it be on the plate it will depend on the sizes the size of the people you have at home but for my case i have quite a big number of family so yeah i had to use some big saucepan not very big but big enough so yeah i was very happy with the sizes of the potatoes and as you can see they were nice clean removed all the buds of the potatoes so yeah my potatoes look so nice so guys we are going in with our ingredients i'm starting with olive oil i like using olive oil because it's healthy so i used like four to five tablespoons of olive oil and i was happy with it it depends on even how much oil you want you want and i went ahead to uh, add two teaspoons of garlic powder then i went ahead also to add two teaspoons of paprika i like using paprika because it gives your food that you know barbecue taste and i used half tablespoon of turmeric and i also added black pepper and salt to taste i like using black pepper in my food guys so yeah so and i went ahead and i put some rosemary and my daughter here she wanted to help me very much always make sure guys if you have daughters at home or kids engage them in house chores because it's good for them so she wanted to help me and i had to give her you know to mix for me all the ingredients and you know she really good a, a good job you can see her serious face very serious helping mommy in the kitchen so she, and you know she knows what she's doing and she didn't want me to remove the plate from her because she was enjoying the mixing how cute guys so what you do after mixing your spices you pour them in your potato wedges which you already cut earlier so yeah she's really enjoying the mixing so i told her to wait to go ahead and pour the mixture in the potatoes so that we can mix them all together so that it comes out nice and clean and you know smelling nice guys well wow. After pouring your mixture, go ahead and toast your mix your potatoes together so that the spices get mixed up together and let it sit for around 10 minutes. So this is my spices. My potato wedge is already mixed in with the spices. Everything is nice and smelling so good, guys. The house was smelling good. Look at it. Look at that color. Look at the green rosemary look at the spices inside after that you have to pour your wedges on the baking tray so that they get ready to be cooked in the oven wow this is good so i already turned my oven to 200 degrees fahrenheit and i had to toss my wedges into the oven so that they get cooked as you can see my oven is 
out and nice so turn your oven to turn your 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 time to one hour so that your wedges get cooked yes guys my potatoes are already cooked they look nice the color and i decided to garnish them with some yellow peppers they are really soft they are nice to touch they are soft in the inside crispy on the outside guys this was so good you can have it with ketchup you have it with sour cream it's very nice or you can even have it with some chicken wings guys look at that softness wow tastes so good guys oh my goodness so till next time i love you guys thank you for watching bye bye